Now, some news cattlemen will want and need to know about. Now, even though cattle prices are relatively, well, they're historically high, there is still a lot of risk involved, maybe even more so today than in the past. It is a situation that seems to have everybody's attention. So we turn to UGA livestock economist Kurt Lacey to see what's being done to help. No, we do have good prices right now. There's a lot of risk in the market. Uh, of course, the, the historically tight supplies that we have, um, a lot of that's a function of drought and just high input prices for the last several years created a, the situation of tight supplies. So we do have good prices, but there are two main risk factors that I see. The first one is just the, the impact of corn prices, what that does to the value of feeder cattle, you know, because everything else being the same as the price of corn goes up, value of feeder cattle will go down. So certainly there's a lot of concern there just because there's, there's a good bit of uncertainty about how the corn crop's gonna turn out. Probably the, the, the bigger concern on the price end of things is just what's gonna happen in the, in the macro economy and the overall scheme of things. The debt crisis in Europe, the financial implications and ramifications are considerable and uncertain as well. But here is some good news. Kurt and some of his colleagues in the Southeast recently developed a tool for cattle producers to manage the risk we've been talking about. He explains this tool and who was involved in its creation. Uh, the risk management tool that we've developed is a website and it's called Southeast Cattle Advisor website. And uh, the web address is www.secattleadvisor.com. It's a collaborative effort between University of Georgia, University of Florida, Auburn University, and Clemson University. Uh, we received some financial assistance from uh, USDA through the Southern uh, Risk Management Center. And as a result, we've put together a one-stop shop for, cattlemen, uh, for, for cattle risk management information. There is an awful lot of information producers will find on the site. They've tried to make it as simple for cattlemen as they can, and it appears they have succeeded. We don't generate a lot of new information, we just try to be an information clearinghouse. So what, what, they, uh, what they can reach easily there are uh, local cash prices, depending on the state they live in, they can access their local cash prices very easily, whether that be a local auction market or the state average auction prices for that week. Uh, they can also get uh, futures prices for feeder cattle, live cattle, corn, soybean, wheat. Uh, they can also locate regional hay feedstuffs and fertilizer prices on that website. And then if they're looking for some decision aids, whether that be for a budget or, or some type, something like a replacement female calculator as well as a ration evaluator and a, and a multitude of other decision aids and budgets, all of those are available on that website. And then uh, one of the other things that's also included there is access to a lot of the publications and presentations that we've done at various field days. Uh, you know, YouTube clips to, to different marketing seminars, presentations, those types of things. All that information is available at that website. The intent is, is that they can get to everything they need to within three or four clicks. 